Yeah, we have Chris Hayre here with a look at what's coming up. And Chris, this might be the last time we're talking to you on this It's set. strange, isn't it? Yeah. I know. 15 years at least on this KCAL 9 set. we got to soak it in here this next half hour. <laughs> You guys are tearing down our set. If you want, we can give you a piece of car. Get your shoes. Come on, Chris. Part of your outfit. Chris, what are we saying? What are we looking at? You here? know, it's a little sad. Uh, uh, this studio has been here since 2007. The Cake House Studio, known for its red carpet and, and all of its beauty, and uh, it's getting an upgrade. <laughs> All right, Amber, it is the end of an era. What do you think? Oh, actually, I'm really happy. I'm going to say good riddance to this red carpet. We've been working out of here for me 10 years. 10 years, yeah, a little over four for me, so good. Okay, this was the old KCAL set. This was my desk that I sat at for 13 years. So crazy. And this is the weather wall. It's still there. Um, I was asking to just take it home. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I can't take that home. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, so yeah, I did all my weather here. Uh, that's the most comfortable couch in the world. Don't throw that away. We're keeping that okay, one. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> the sports desk. Oh man, the Spock. Did weather watchers from here back in the day here's the set the red carpet i did ask for a piece of the red carpet so don't forget to get me a piece this is this is infamous around here <laughs> bye kcal set <laughs> Aww. This is what the set looks like now. And yeah, isn't this crazy to think that this used to be the old KCAL set? Can't wait for the new one. All right, welcome to the KCAL studio. Oh, look how much they've done in the last few weeks. No, it actually looks really good. Oh, watch out. have some barriers that are up. This is the monitor, the key's monitor. Oh. Get it on this side. Ooh, Chris, look at this. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. Look at all the people working. All right, Chris and Amber here. We are at the KCAL 9 Studios where it's currently under construction. A couple weeks ago, we showed you that this entire studio was empty. Take a look now. It's actually looking really good. All right, so give us a, a little guided tour. All right, so we're coming in just from the side. This is not how we normally enter, but let's take a sneak peek at what they're doing. So remember, this was empty a few weeks ago. So this is where you're gonna be. This is the weather Oh, this is the area. weather center, okay. And then you're gonna be over here, Chris. Right, the main desk where those guys are standing. They're building everything still. It so, looks so good. Yeah, they did this really fast. All right, let's show them the green screen real fast. All right, so then the green screen is gonna be a little bit separate from the desk. So I'm being told it's gonna be facing this way. So right now. There's her magical green screen. So this is where I'm gonna be. But it's That's be, so cool. It's gonna be facing this way. So right now, obviously. All right, there's your latest updates. Right. We'll see you soon. All right, happy Friday, everyone. Since Amber's not here, let's give you a little sneak peek of the new set. Hey, it's looking good. All right, just a couple more weeks till launch. Good morning, everyone. I am sleepy today. Wow. Um, I'm not going to show you around because it's our new set, and I want you. Hold on. Maybe I'm showing. Maybe I'm giving too much away. I want uh, the big debut to be when the new show launches. So um, stay tuned for that. But uh, good morning. Is anyone else? feeling like Christmas is coming too soon. I mean, Christmas is awesome, don't get me wrong. I'm like so excited for it, but like, I'm so behind. I'm so behind. Ooh! So, it will definitely be a shopping weekend 
for for me but anyway random hello on a sleepy sleepy thursday have a great day KCAL 9 has been the Southland's local station for news. But what does local even mean these days? It means being where you are. The same place as we live. Cover. And care about. So what does local mean? It means KCAL. A new KCAL 9, starting January 5th. A new KCAL 9, with more in the mornings, January 5th. More local news, more breaking news, more KCAL news. Change is coming. A new KCAL 9 takes shape starting Thursday. Local news doesn't happen here. It happens here. And here. And all of the places you live. The same places we live. Los Angeles is our home. And it takes one of LA's largest news teams. Now with the most hours of news. Backed by the power of CBS and KCAL. To cover local news in real time. Yeah, news happens here. And we have you covered here. KCAL 9 is now KCAL News on KCAL and CBS Los Angeles. More local, more local news. For decades, KCAL 9 has been the Southland's local station for news. But what does local even mean these days? Well, it means being where you are. Here. And here. And as my friend Jerry used to say, from the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good those evening. of you who know, know. These are the places we live, cover, and care about. Reporting what's real, authentic, in depth, and diverse. You know, just like all of us living here are. So, what does local mean? It means KCAL. KCAL 9 is now KCAL News on KCAL and CBS Los Angeles. More local, more local news. This is KCAL News Mornings. And the water's been up above our heads where we're standing right here. The storm is here. Torrential rain has been pounding the Southland as an atmospheric river hits our region. Plus. I'm, I'm not as worried as I, I was then. They're, they're all ready. The worry city is just ready. Southern California communities are bracing for what's expected to be a major rainmaker. And we also have a live look right now at our radar. We have a live picture outside as well where you can see the conditions out there. It is wet and our Olga Espina has your detailed forecast coming up next. Good morning, I'm Kalina Estrinos. Welcome so much to KCAL News. We are streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. We're so excited to welcome you to our new studio, to our new home. But we have so much to talk about today. We have this bomb cyclone that's upon us right now. Moderate to heavy rain is expected for the next six hours. That is starting right now. And I know overnight, I just heard all of the rain coming down. It felt like it was nonstop. Yeah, and you know, it has been just been steady rain this morning and just in time for the debut of KCAL News. News mornings. Uh, we are tracking a powerful storm. There is a live look at our satellite radar. You can see all that heavy rain becoming very widespread. Really, all of us are going to be 
impacted by this today. We are talking not just some rain, but also some snow. We have some gusty winds as well as elevated surf along the coastline. So we are going to experience some very treacherous conditions. If you are driving, definitely give yourself a little bit of extra time because take a look at that satellite radar. We are seeing some pockets of heavy rain downpours, dangerous conditions and some very gusty winds for a lot of us. A lot of watches and warnings in place. I'm going to have all those details for you. Take you through your morning in just a few minutes. Kalina. Olga, thank you for O2 right now. And we do have team coverage this morning with our reporters spread out across Southern California. We're going to get back to Olga with her forecast coming up in just a second, but we do have breaking news to get to this morning. This is breaking news coming out of Burbank. We're learning that a large tree is down blocking an Oak Street there and Beachwood Drive. This came down around uh, 11 p.m. last night. Crews there are now working to remove that 40 foot tree and Burbank police are now rerouting drivers in that area. We'll of course track that for you all morning. California, as you know, is under a state of emergency as this latest storm sweeps the state and we're already seeing some flooding in the West Valley. So we have KCAL's Tina Patel joining us live right now in Van Nuys to show us what's happening where she is. Tina, good morning. Good morning, Kalina. We are on the northbound or westbound 101 at Van Nuys right before the connection with the 405. And I'm going to switch to our road cam so you can see we are right behind a Caltrans truck that is actually pulled over and closed a lane here because of the flooding on the 101. Now, just in front of that truck, we can see a Caltrans worker. It looks like they may be trying to clear a storm drain or get something so the water can start flowing uh, down the storm drain and actually off of the roadway. But right now they've got this lane right the far right lane closed while they work. There's a lot of pooling water here. So if you're going to be coming through this part of the 101 just before the 405, you just want to give yourself a little bit of extra time, move over into the, the more left lanes to give these crews room to work. We have been driving around this morning, both on the freeways and on the surface streets, and the water is starting to pool in many areas. So we say it uh, all the time when we have this kind of weather. If you are having to commute, we want you to, to give yourself extra time. Keep an eye on the roadways around you because there is some, some water that's starting to pool up. We're going to continue to drive around and see what we can find, warn you of the trouble spots so you know what you do as you head out the door this morning. Right now, we'll send it back to you. Tina, thank you. An intense watch underway right now in San Gabriel Valley this morning. Rescue crews there are gearing up and some homeowners are now putting up sandbags or hitting the road. KCAL's Cara Finstra and Doherty with the latest there. Cara, good morning. Good morning. Uh yellow alert this morning, actually until tomorrow morning. You can see some of the K rails here that have been put into place. There are about 25 homes here along Mail Canyon. You can see some of them here are that are under that yellow alert. Volunteers went door to door to these homes yesterday, warning them that the hillsides above, which were scarred by the fish fire, could give way during today's rains. Now they are not expecting major mud flows, but park cars, trash cans not allowed on the street because they could become very dangerous if floodwaters move them. All right, take a look over in Azusa. Firefighters got their swift water rescue equipment ready to go. They do have extra crews patrolling all of the area burn scars uh, throughout the San Gabriel Valley. Sandbags also have been put around vulnerable areas. Here in Duarte, neighbors remember the issues a major mud flow caused back in 2016 after a fire. Not the very last storm, but the storm before this one, it poured. And I didn't think anything of it. I went into my backyard to pull some plants and I fell in a sinkhole all the way down to my, my uh, knee here. So I'm, I'm not as worried as I, I was then. Though. They're, they're all ready. Doherty City is just ready. And you can see some uh, light rain coming down right now. Some heavier rain. When I woke up, I live here in the San Gabriel Valley this morning. Could really hear it coming down. It has uh, let up during the early morning hours, but uh, again, starting to fall at this point, and we are expecting much more today. So if you are going to be on the roads, be careful. Back to you. Cara, thank you.